So a few months ago I decided to go through all my junk which I've accumulated since starting this YouTube channel and I came across two things that could make an interesting project. This was the Hyperpixel 3.5 inch 800 by 480 60 frames per second screen and the Retro PSU which is a power board from Helder. It's able to output up to 3.5 amps at 5.2 volts other power boards just isn't sufficient enough to power a Raspberry Pi 3 so the Retro PSU should resolve this. So now that I have all these parts it was time to draw up some designs. Uh, my initial thoughts was to do some portable console but also looking into my pile of junk I found an 8-bit Doe 02 Bluetooth controller which I've never really used as it's a Bluetooth controller uh, I thought about a Nintendo Switch inspired console where the console can be played both as a standalone console that can be rested on a table or it can be played as a handheld. Assembling the whole unit was pretty simple. The screen attaches onto the Pi via the GPIO header. The Pi was connected to the speaker board which was connected to the speaker and then it was all connected to the retro PSU and a 2000 milliamp battery uh, and a power switch to power the whole thing. I'll leave a diagram of how I assembled it together so you can try it yourself. So going back and forth with concepts of the case with a friend of mine, Jonathan, we finalised on the design. Jonathan Lee, who he goes by as John Hofun on Instagram, helped me with the 3D model based on the final design. Please take a look at his work. I've added a, a link in the description below. Exporting the design as an STL file and using my 3D printer and obviously getting the sizes wrong after a few failed prints I managed to get a pretty good case. There was still a bunch of filing and trimming to do as the print wasn't perfect. There were also a few portholes that we forgot to add so I took to the Dremel to add these. In the original design there were pillars that connected to some holes which connected the bottom and top half together. This became a little cumbersome as it did not attach well and I had to remove it in the end. The other thing that I didn't really anticipate was the screws that holds the back and the front pieces together. I ended up trimming a portion on either side and attached the magnet. It definitely worked well and I would consider it for a version 2. The other thing I didn't take in consideration was how it would be assembled and where everything will be placed inside. But now that I have a version. Uh, I can think of ways to house all the components instead of using pl random plastic pieces and hot glue everywhere and as you can see there's wires running everywhere. So how does it play? To be honest the 8 bit dough is very uncomfortable to control as it's pretty tiny and you end up pressing other buttons. It's worse when you're playing it as a handheld as the controller does not fit in the casing very well and shuffles around inside and there's limited amount of games you can get to play as the shoulder buttons are inaccessible. But these are all the things I will need to consider if I decide to do a version 2. But the Raspberry Pi 3 is, as you know, capable of playing a whole library of games. And the Hyperpixel screen looks super sharp and clear. As for the sound, I have it cranked to 100% volume and it feels that it's not loud as I want it to be. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I feel I've achieved what I set out to do, but there is definitely room for improvement and has cleared up some of my clutter. I want to send special thanks to Jonathan Lee for the case design and please visit his Instagram. I'll leave all the links so you can try making one yourselves. Uh, and I haven't settled on a name for this, so please leave a comment below as to what you think it should be called. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.